right, guys, we are at Evadale Raceway. First time to test the turbo car. Last year's car with a turbo setup in it. So first time going down right here today, Evadale. Uh, huge shout out to Gary. He's always been super awesome to us for testing. Hopefully this thing goes. Got a uh, Craig Triangle Speed Shop here. Got Mike. Got the preacher with us. He told me everything's gonna be all right. So we, we, we're trusting in him. <laughs> Uh, Checker Flag Ministries. <laughs> Alright guys, ain't but one thing left to do. That's to do it. one uh did not go just fantastic uh it's pulled up we've done a burnout we got all that done um second time i'll do a little better staging and uh i almost pulled it up before i went into the pre-stage uh i guess i've been watching all the other turbo cars spooling up to go in you know but i, I thought about it for a second i turned the top bulb on then spooled up but then the intensity was set a little too high it was a guess you know far as uh, the bump box set a little too high so I, I actually went in deep but um we're gonna go back around we're gonna get it cooled off um didn't have quite enough power in it um we gonna go to work see if we can make this thing faster it's still in one piece thankfully and uh we can uh, keep working see if we can progress a little bit today but that was pass one in the books now we're moving on uh to go get it ready for pass number two Wastegate pipe. All right, guys. Uh, second pass went a little bit better. We was a little bit slow early. Um, we're gonna get after it a little bit harder early and see what happens here. Um, learning a little bit every pass went further and further. So we'll see if we can make it a little bit further this time. Craig telling me how how we're gonna turbo people so that's what we're hoping for <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he said I ain't used to that he said I'm used to getting drove around I will say to the 330 we had a good running car Craig yeah. now we hoping to go to the 330 fast and out the back fast so that pass was a lot better um, we made some more changes added some weight here and there uh, put the bullhorns back on it um, made a bunch of little baby changes power management changes uh, this is the last pass of the day. Uh, it's getting dark. Um, so we don't ever turn the lights on here. Just for our budget and stuff, we we try to race during the day. You know, it's an additional expense. So we just plan to race during the day and uh, get it done. So pulling up here, like our last trip of the day, and then we're going to uh, hopefully have some good data to look at.
All right, guys, test day number one is a wrap. Uh, we gotta make a few oil changes tonight, but every single pass we made, uh, we made just huge improvements. Um, between Mike here and Craig over there, I'm telling you, we're getting it done, y'all. Shameless plug. Need a trailer? Hit us up, righttrailers.com. Is that right, Mike? Right. What you acting like, BJ? <laughs> that light he's got. <laughs> so we're going to work on this car for a few hours. We're going to get something to eat. We're going to clean up some messes that we made. We had a little leak, made a huge mess. It's not a little mess, it's a huge mess. So we're going to clean that up. Then we're going to get something to eat. And then tomorrow we're going to try it again. If we make improvements like we made today, tomorrow, I'm gonna be very excited. Y'all ain't seen me excited very few times, but this thing goes fast tomorrow, I'm gonna be excited. It's close, close, close. We're not uh, day one and we're not too far off our, you know, our, our fastest. So we're very, very close already. And then uh, tomorrow I think will be the day. Day two of testing. Um, we got a little bit of work to do. We did some last night. Uh, we had lost a transmission line. Uh, so dirtied the car up pretty bad, got oil everywhere. We're getting that fixed, um, going through, just servicing everything. And then, unfortunately, I did not have a spare starter with me. Um, it's on my board to order, need spare starter, but it has not come in yet. So I was gonna order it. This starter is very, very old. Um, it's a couple seasons old and we bump these things over so much, checking valves and stuff. So the brushes wore out on it. When the brushes wore out, we actually cut the pockets a little deeper so that the brushes could make contact so hopefully that works uh they weren't making contact at all uh, as you can see we got stuff tore apart everywhere making it happen but uh day two of testing is going to be going here shortly as soon as i get this starter on there we got a backup plan we got some starters coming obviously we got a new starter on the way for the trailer for a spare um but it's not here yet get this one fixed up put it back on the car be ready to test again Y'all hold on, it's gonna be fast today. All right, here we go, day two. We got everything back together. So we went through starter, transmission, rear end, went through, serviced everything, got everything ready to go. See, uh, see if it all paid off right here. guys day three testing we've made changes every single day every single night let's see how it goes right here see if we can get down through there
on the last half. And we're down the last half. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you'll wait. I don't have my wrench. I'll run and go get it real quick to verify. Just give me one second. I'll run quick. Then we'll do another one. We're going to send it. All right, y'all. Shoots out for the first time with a turbo car. Man, this thing makes some power up top. At the 330, this thing leaned back on the wheelie bars and took off again. It's like a whole different power. I've not, I've never driven anything with this much power up top. Uh, early, we've been super fast early in this car, but not like this up top, man. This is absolutely awesome. Can't wait to get this thing totally ironed out. It's gonna be fast, y'all all right guys that's a wrap for testing uh had a few little issues that stopped us we wasn't quite where we want to be but we're gonna go home get them sorted out and then we're gonna need another two or three days to get this thing exactly where we want it but we are super stoked on the potential of how fast this thing is gonna go and we're right there we're already ahead of schedule as far as what i thought it would have went on the first couple of days of testing uh, super excited about that 60 foot numbers are incredible uh 330 numbers are good um we're about to start squeezing on it out the back our next rip was fixing to be a full pass um we've only dropped the laundry on this thing once you know i've been making 330 400 foot pulls so far uh our next go was fixing to be the full deal um i told myself we wasn't going past the 330 until we had numbers that looked like a pro charger car and uh we're definitely there so next step full pass uh when we come back but we gotta go back to shop work on the car a bit we got a few little minor things uh, a few little chassis things uh just a few little touch-ups here and there uh look over the car really well service everything 100 percent and uh we'll be back testing um not sure where our next stop testing will be but we'll definitely include you guys and uh video it and post it up so if you hadn't already like subscribe uh follow and we'll keep posting content for you guys thank y'all so much for watching following we appreciate y'all we couldn't do it without you and we are out